and welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Today we're just going to continue because in the last video, if you remember, it crashed and uh, I couldn't do uh, any more. So um, when it crashed, there were some ghouls that were coming. Uh, they died. They have disappeared because I've loaded the game back up. Uh, I think the cutscene was kind of messing it up uh, with the with the load, but thank thankfully I've got it back. I also got to... Uh, Stop talking about how you so hopefully the creatures. tutorials don't crash the game. Because um, they've changed the control <laughs> scheme from the second one. <laughs> so some things are slightly different epidemics. on the keyboard, mm. uh, on the, on the controller. The so. as well? No, really upset him too. His theory collapsed. But just enjoy the game. Whole day to canter. Come on, Roach. Okay, so he's going to canter as well with me. And I think if I just hold A, he follows the track, which is a brilliant feature. Absolutely love this feature. I think it's, I think more games should have it. Okay, dead bodies. War is not exactly going our way. No. We aside, the northern realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old war. Oh no. As soon as he wins the war. I'm sorry believe your that. house got burnt down. Gotta believe something. Wasn't me. That's what keeps us going. So, uh, one thing that's slightly different, or I think it's different from Witcher 2, is um, you've got a bread and drink feature, which is up and down on the D-pad, so which you can regenerate health, basically, in mid-combat. You don't have to use it. Um, I, I might not. So, let's see. Ooh! Help me! Help! Oh, it's this bit! I hope I don't have to fight it. Because otherwise it's the first boss battle and I'm thrown straight into a boss battle right in the second episode. Ah, almost. Almost got him. Well, I did. Ooh, I cut his something. I think it just comes back around. I don't think I actually fight. Horrible griffins. Don't like them. Don't like them one bit. It's gone. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. <laughs> you don't owe us a thing. We didn't kill it, so... We didn't kill you it. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Fair enough. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone. Um, yeah. Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No, but there's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there. Besides, the inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea, especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Yeah, where's my horse? So, um, straight off the bat, here's like my first impressions for like the second episode. Um, absolutely stunning looking game. Absolutely amazing. There's like, oh, there we go. So, Just hold A and it'll steer the horse. Um, the absolutely beautiful. I mean, just look at it. I mean, YouTube. 
like will destroy it but um what i'm seeing is amazing i'm still running it on ultra it's running at like 60 frames per second for me um it's recording slightly less uh the recording is slightly less but it's running at 60 fps for me roughly uh, i think it's different when i'm recording so um just take that in mind when you do it uh you're nearing a village don't disturb the peace Remember, town guards are hired watchmen, won't tolerate theft, and also won't be kindly to... Okay. I have to be careful with those. I don't want to bump into people. If you bump into people, they get... They don't like it. Yeah, let's, let's just park go. the horse. Ooh, lovely. I'd use a cool drink myself. Hey, what a dick. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is the coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. Guardians. My arse it is. Like all the cutscenes are amazing. Like, like this is in game. This is in game cutscene, and it's oh, it's just beautiful. Like so nice to watch a game that's just so well done. Absolutely, I just love it. Like witches. I'll not drink with Weaver Loss freaks. Oh, <laughs> oh! If someone like that just paused and looked at you. Nope. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm-hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Uh, options marked for this a shop panel. Fair enough. Um, I'll just say, I'm going to say... Ooh, is there a contract on the griffin? There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Then it's not He's worth going good. after. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the Alderman would start a collection, or go to the Lord for help. Now, the Alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And, seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. No. Oh. Um, looking for a woman. Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white. Riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such <laughs> lady. Believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travellers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after all. Uh, dialogue options marked will end the conversation. Pretty busy round here. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in war. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Show me what you got behind the counter. What have you got? Buy and sell items using the shop panel. Press A to make a purchase. Press B to close the shop panel. Yeah, well, what are you? Okay. This, this, this is the one thing that I'm kind of, I'm going to get used to, but it's the one thing that's kind of odd coming from Witcher 2, um, is the interface for the, the menus is very console. It's very console based. I mean, yes, I'm using a controller, but that's just because I'm 
I prefer using a controller. Um, Cameron uses keyboard and mouse, and he'll find this a bit iffy to work around to start off with. Um, and it, I'm finding it a bit iffy to start off with. These are cards for Gwent, but I, I will, we will get to Gwent. I am looking forward to Gwent. It's one of my favorite parts, uh, which I'm actually looking forward to in the game. So that's like a master card. Um, I need, I, I don't really need anything really. I'm just, I'm just going to take some bread. I'm just going to take five bread so I can feed myself. Where's, is that just water? Some form of lemon. Cow's milk. Water. Let's take five water as well. I don't have enough coin, so never mind. I'm not going to take that. Thanks. Thanks for everything. For everything. The one thing with this version, well, with The Witcher 3, is the facial animations just uh, so good. Looks amazing, sounds amazing, plays plays very well, plays very smoothly for. Uh, Help you bandage that up, please. Amazing. I'm not decrepit yet. I'm praising then it a I'll lot. Ask about Yennefer. Mm hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Black one's been out measuring the field. Ask travelers about Yennefer. Better that than burning the harvest. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Uh, so the things with that is uh, the axie sign. So I can, like, force, you know, uh, these are not the droids you're looking for moment. Um, which I kind of like to use. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Oh, it's done differently. Folks say the lady rode through the village. Last time it was just done with like that. Galloping on, like, so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she did go? Did it very, very discreetly. Know. That's just. Lots of tracks leading Tell me. Road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind. Uh huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. Fair enough. <laughs> just gotta sit back down. No. Oh. Okay. I look so good. Look at me. Four factions. Four factions, teams, suits, similar to clubs and space. Okay, so my health doesn't regen over time. It does if I meditate um, or sleep. Wouldn't you rather play war? Oh, this guy's for the Gwent. This guy has Gwent. Oh, that's not what I meant to press. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to threaten you with a punch. Waste of time. The earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher with tenure. <laughs> I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not. Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her. Armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. Sounds like her. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No, facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek hmm. knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Magnum opus? Go back to your books while you still can. Write about the war, what it's really like. Interesting. Yeah. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. <laughs> Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. Yeah. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other, drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. 
true. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, no. and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. I really want to play. It's actually something I really want to play. Uh, option marked. We'll begin a game of Gwent. 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 Mm, why not? Splendid. Here's yeah. Welcome to Gwent. Gwent is an ancient dwarven card game that simulates the clash of two armies in battle. The player, the players are generals, and the cards are their forces. You will go first. To begin, you draw 10 cards. This will be your hand in the rest of the match. You will not draw any more cards. So use these wisely. This is a unit card. The number in the upper left corner indicates its strength. When placed on the battlefield, this value is added to the total strength of the player who placed it. Okay, so that's added. Uh, this is this is the unit's combat row icon. This icon indicates the row. Uh, this icon indicates the row on the battlefield where the card can be played. So in like catapults. Some unit cards have special abilities. This Kedwani, uh siege expert's special ability is called morale boost. This grants one strength to all units in the same row. Weather cards are the type of special card. They reduce the strength of all cards of a given type on the battlefield, including your own. So, uh, Winter suffers sword. Uh, I, I don't know what that is. Like, clouded night uh, is archers, and rain is, like, uh, blisters. At the start of each game, you can select up to two cards to discard and redraw. But let's ki let's skip that for now and go straight to playing. Round one. Okay, here is the battlefield. This is your side. This is your opponent's side. I hope everyone's keeping up. During each turn, a player may place one card on the battlefield or pass. Okay. Each deck has a leader. The leader grants you a special ability which can be used only once during battle. Trigger the special ability at any point by pressing X. Press A to select a card from your hand. Press A again to place it on the battlefield. Your turn. Okay. So. Oh, I don't want to be that king. I don't want to be the northern realms. Okay, so let's place... Um... Let's place some, simply some, just some, um, some, uh, whatever they're called. Um, the number on the left of, by your icon, shows the current total strength of your units. The number on the right shows the total strength, uh, for that row. Oh, okay. Uh, both values are updated when the card is played. At the end of the round, the player with the highest total strength wins. During your turn, you can press, you can press, wait, oh no, you can pass by holding Y. Once you pass, you cannot play any more cards during that round. Your opponent can continue playing cards until he or she passes as well. You should pass when you are confident uh, you can win with the units you already have in play, or to let your opponent win and save your cards for the next round. End of round. A round ends once both players have passed. The players then compare the total strength of their units to determine the winner. All cards on the battlefield are discarded and both players' total strength is zero. Okay, he put a two, so let's put a four in there. Takes us up to five. Ah, see, he's playing that. Right. Let's play a five, then. Oh, 
Oh, he played a five as well. Let's play six. So how many cards can people place down? <gasps> if I do this, then that discards his five. Oh, yes. Oh, he cleared the weather up. God damn it. Okay, 10 points ahead. I don't really know what I'm doing still. Um, the player who loses round also loses a life gem. The game is over when the player loses both. You won the round. Okay. What does he bring out? Okay, so he's gonna bring that out. That's gonna frost that up. I don't have anything to defend that. That's all my cards played, so either he's gonna win or... And he's... Oh, sweet. So he pass. I'm gonna pass, and then that make me win. Yes. So that's Gwen. It's a little bit confusing. There was no shame in passing on the. So that was a score. Well. Okay. Well. You've a knack for this game. That was Gwen. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. I'll have to uh, play that a little bit more to figure out more about it. Right, how long have we been doing this? Only 15 minutes. Oh, I gotta talk to you, do I? Stop pressing X to talk to people. Looking for a woman. Ugh. <sighs> Like everyone, not like everyone, and not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Okay. Fine, I'll have a drink. What's his game Make plan here? Chase. You've seen her or not? Jennifer of Wengerberg. Okay. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Come help it. How do you know Yen? How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Dandelion's in the game. Yay! He's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Know who I am, eh? Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads, too. To your help. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? 
Of course it's about love, you dick. No, it's none of your none bloody of your business. business. Yes, as a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. <laughs> Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. Off to the garrison it is then. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby. Today. I thought that was a weird thing outside, but it was just a horse. Well, what the hell sort of monster's just sitting outside there? Okay, what are we doing? Ask the Nilf Guardians about Yennefer. Are you the Nilf Guardian? Drinking. What the mm -hmm. hell? Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. Was she yawning? Let's be the tough guy. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind. Actually, <laughs> not even then. Yes. Check. Lesh. Back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. Oh, punch. Nice meeting you indeed. There's Roach. Right, come on, Roach. We're getting out of here. I'm gonna leave these stupid ass dicks alone. Game saves. The game state will automatically save when you reach a certain milestone. I could also manually save it. Are you gonna go, Roach? Come on. Come on, Roach. I'm going the wrong way. Roach, you're gonna need to turn around. Go this way. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. Come on. I've gone by where I need to. Oh, don't hit the kid. Don't hit the kid. Oh, there's a quest over. Okay, there's a couple of quests. There's a notice board. Okay, so. Okay, what I'll do here is I'm going to quickly save the game, which is very strange. Okay, so what I'll do here is I'll I'll pause it here, and we'll join uh, in the next episode where I'll go to the uh, the garrison, the Nilfgaardian gar garrison, and uh, we'll chat to some people and find out more about Yennefer. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and uh, and uh, do all those things. I mean, I don't really know what else. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy this series. And uh, please put your input into what you want to see happen in the series. I mean, there's lots of things to do in the game. Do you want to see more games of Gwent? Do you want to see hunts? Do you want to see just free roam? Do you want to see more story? I'm going to continue the story until I'm into like the proper free roamy stuff, which I don't think I'm in at the moment. Um, so yes. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye. Oh, they're horrible looking dogs. Down you go, dog. Down you go.